Here we have a 2005 Renault Laguna Expression in silver. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, we're looking at about 2 to 3 millimetres. Offside front alloy, taking a good look at the condition. A um, little bit of a scuff mark on the outside edge there. A uh, bit of a scuff on one of these spokes. But for its age, it is actually uh, not in bad condition at all. Looking at the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork. Um, again, it's a little bit dark, unfortunately. Um, but having a good look, I really can't see any sign of any dents at all. Looking around the offside front arch, as you can see, got a bit of a chip in the paintwork there. Looking around the rest of the arch, again, that looks fine. Driver's mirror, a couple of like, scratches on the mirror itself. Driver's door itself, uh, again, looks very well for its age. Just the odd one or two light scratches, nothing else really stands out to me there. Uh, door edge, just one or two very minor little nicks in there. Sills, there's a slight bit of wearing down one of the sills. On the roof, again, nothing really uh, stands out to me there. Looking at the door, again, very good condition for its age. Literally just one or two little minor marks. Door edge is fine there. Looks like it's had some paint to the rear arch. You can slightly see a bit of filler. Um, some light scratches around the rear arch. A couple of little chips in the paint work there as well. But not bad at all for its age. Rear tyre, about two to three mil again. And looking at the rear alloy. A bit of a scuff on one of these spokes there. Um, looking around the rest of the alloy. As you can see from the video, it doesn't look bad at all. A little bit of a curved mark at the, at the top, but again, real nice condition for its age and the mileage that it's done. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, on the rear bumper, again looks looks really well to be honest, I can't see any sign of any damage at all. Um, there's a little sort of crack in the paintwork there, looks like a scratch, uh, can get my nail into it. Uh, it, feels like it's slightly raised as well so it might be slightly pressed there on the rear bumper. But again doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, on top of the boot just one or two little minor marks. Inside the boot itself, parcel shelf, just needs a bit of a valet inside, uh, it's just a bit of a hoover. Got your spare wheel in there as well, so that's brilliant. Moving around to your near side rear tyre. Again, we're looking at about 3 to 4 mil of tread there, so more along the 3, 3.5 mil. Looking on the rear alloy, as you can see there is some curbing to this alloy, so this one's probably going to require a refurb. Uh, but again, nothing serious at all. And looking down on the near side of the body. One or two small dinks down the rear door, but nothing serious again. Rear door edge is fine. Again, just a couple of light marks of paintwork. Front door edge, that's fine. A couple of minor marks around the door. A couple of minor scratches on the mirror there. May require a little bit of paint. Front arch is fine. Front tyre, again about 2 mil. As you can see, there's a lot of wearing there on the outer edge of the tyre, so just be wary of that. Front alloy, as you can see, it's had a bit of a heavy knock there. Rest of the alloy is fine, so again... Not too bad at all really. I'm moving around to the front end of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got a bit of a scuff mark on the front corner, that's going to require a smart repair. Apart from that, you've got a scuff on the front bumper, again that's going to require some paint as well as that scratch. The offside front quarter is fine then, just a couple of stone chips on the bonnet of the vehicle. But for the money and the mileage, it's not a bad looking car really. Inside the back, as you can see, at the full cloth interior. Uh, unfortunately it's a little bit dark but the interior is immaculate. I must admit it does look really nice inside. All the carpets and mats are spotless. Back of seats, again real nice tidy condition inside the car there. Taking a look at your driver's seat. Now again there's nothing wrong at all with the driver's seat. looks really well. No damage at all there except from a slight little hole in the seat. Front passenger seat is uh, bob on. Inside the car itself you got a bit of wearing around the door handle here. Uh, steering wheel showing some signs of age. Gear stick, again, not bad. Dashboard sense console is fine. You only get one key with the car. Is a uh, insert the key into there. Start the vehicle. No issues at all there. Oil, okay. Starts perfectly fine. No issues at all. Um, just wait for the miles to pop up there. Again, I've taken the car up and down the road, and to be honest, it seems to run perfectly fine. Um, so no issues at all there. Now I'll just move over to the radio. Uh, no issues at all functioning this. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. There's no issues at all with the blowers. Air conditioning seems to come out nice and cold as well, so that's great. Mileage 122,946 on the clock. No symbols at all appearing on the dash. Even the headlights both work, as you can see. And again, it's all about singing bells and whistles at the minute. Four owners on the vehicle. MOT till May 9th 2016, so plenty left on the MOT. 
and service history. Now there's quite a lot of service history with the car as well. As you can see, we've got some Renault stamps here as well. So you've got 18, 29, um, no mileage with that one. 51, 61, and I can tell you it had a cam belt, cam belt change at 61. 71, 86, 88, 93. So you can see loads of service history. And then 115, one there as well. So this next one, 130. But as you can see, timing belt and pulleys, it was done at 61,000 miles. So that's a timing belt and pulley at 61. There you go, guys. For the money, it's a great car, to be fair. You could run it to the ground, but I think it would last a while. MOT till May next year. Plenty of service history on the car. No symbols on the dash. Car seems to run great. So again, real good buy for the money.